بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد The dua, your supplication is ibadah. Supplication is worship. Supplicating to your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is worship. And that's why supplicating to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is shirk. Supplicating to the dead, supplicating to the living, supplicating to your ancestors, your wali, Anyone from the awliya? This is shirk because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, A dua huwa ibad. That dua is worship. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in Sunan Tirmidhi, A dua huwa ibad. That supplication is worship. And that's why our supplication is reserved only for our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have to know and be certain that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept it. Which, when we become weak in Iman, we forget this. We forget that our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala is present. He hears us. He sees us. He hears everything. He sees everything. And He gives assistance to the mu'mineen. He's near with His ma'iya. He gives assistance to the believers and he provides and sustains us subhanahu wa ta'ala and he's with us with his knowledge meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has knowledge of all things he knows your struggles he knows your tribulations and what the ummah faces as struggle and tribulation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in a beautiful ayah qala subhanahu wa ta'ala في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا أستجيبوا لله ولرسوله إذا دعاكم لما يحييكم الله the Almighty and just سبحانه and he is al Mujib وسميع دعاء Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O you Yayo ladhina amanu O you who believe Astajibu lillahi wa li rasooli Answer The call of Allah And his messenger Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam If they Call you To that which gives you life. Meaning that the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to follow His commands, كَمَا قَالَ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَعَتِيُوا اللَّهَ وَعَتِيُوا الرَّسُولِ And f- obey Allah and obey the Messenger. By obedience to Allah and obedience to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah gives life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives life. And as Shaykh Abdul Razak, he explains, Shaykh Abdul Razak, Hafidullah Ta'ala, mentions, that it is the real life. Not just that we're living and breathing. That's a ni'mah and a blessing from Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala. But it is the real life. By obeying Allah and His Messenger. He said it is the true life of the heart. The real life of your heart. And it is the focus of your deeds 
and it is the straightness or that which straightens your manners. And it is what makes your menhaj or your path righteous and straight. And that's why it's incredibly important to strive with the knowledge, with the correct aqidah, to be obedient to Allah and His Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, by following the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. That will give you life, true life in the heart. Because the life without Iman in Islam, with Tawheed, with sincerity to Allah, ikhlas, this life is temporary and in fact not the haqiqata it's not the real life of the heart it is if the person without iman they have a dead heart why because they don't have the sweetness of iman the sweetness the taste of faith the taste of what it's like to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and attain some of the fruits in this dunya as well as the akhirah. And that's why we want to be of Ahli Iman. We want to supplicate and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. And this is advice to myself and advice to others. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم